Hey everyone, I welcome you all to this session. In this session, we will learn everything we need to know about the ASP.NET architecture. First, let's have a look at the agenda for this session. We shall begin with learning the basics of ASP.NET, then we shall go on to learn the ASP.NET architecture. After the architecture, we shall focus on the components and the characteristics of ASP.NET. But before we begin, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without any further ado, let's get started with what is ASP.NET. ASP.NET is a server-side technology used for developing dynamic web applications. It is the latest version of the Active Server Pages. Active Server Pages is a server-side scripting language and engine used for developing web applications. It is essentially a web-based platform that helps to create dynamic web pages for programmers. ASP.NET produces interactive, data-driven web applications on the internet. It works on HTTP protocols and uses HTTP commands to set communication between the server and the browser. The codes can be written in many different languages like C Sharp, Visual Studio, and JavaScript. The latest version of ASP.NET is the Active Server Pages, which Microsoft developed to build websites. It was released in 2002 and had an extension of .aspx. ASP.NET consists of a large number of controls such as text boxes, buttons, and labels for assembling. It produces interactive data-driven web applications on the internet, which helps to build websites and web applications in a better and colorful way. Now when we know what is ASP.NET, let's have a look at the architecture of ASP.NET. ASP.NET architecture consists of three different components. The first component is language, then comes library, and finally comes the common language runtime. Moving forward, we shall learn about these three components one after the another. The first component we have is language. Whenever we build an application, the first task is to communicate with the application, which is made possible by different programming languages. The three major languages that ASP.NET uses to communicate with a computer are C Sharp, VB.NET, and F Sharp. The second component is the library. Library is a pre-written class or a coded template that a developer can use while developing an application. The most common library used for ASP.NET web applications is the web library. Web library is a part of a website that offers a collection of websites when users browse. It possesses all the properties that help in building a web application. The third and last integral component is the Common Language Runtime. Common Language Runtime is a platform used to execute the programs. Common Language Runtime mainly helps to execute .NET programs and it is also used for performing key activities like garbage collection and exception handling. The code that the Common Language Runtime directly manages is called the Managed Code. Now, when we know about the architecture and its components, let's have a look at some of the characteristics of ASP.NET. Here, we shall see five characteristics of ASP.NET, beginning with code behind model, then we have directives, followed by caching, and after caching, we have user controls and state management. Let's have a look at all these characteristics one by one. Beginning with the code behind model characteristic. Code behind model helps in dealing with dynamic programming code. It also helps to place code in a separate designated script or a specific file named as mypage.aspx.cs. While the main page file is mypage.aspx, code behind model also helps to create applications with different content. The second characteristic is directives. Directives 
act like a support to the pages. It gives support by providing special instructions to the developer on how a page should be processed. Directives also specify and enable the attribute to show how an application should be used. Then comes the third characteristic and that is caching. Caching helps in improving the performance of an application which helps a user to use an application more efficiently. It also helps to store page requests of the user in a temporary location. The fourth characteristic is user controls. The sections of pages that are registered and used as controls are called as the user controls. User controls also create markup files that contain static HTML markup and server-side web controls. The fifth and final characteristic is the state management characteristic. ASP.NET provides state management which helps to store the state of every user. By providing the state of every user, it becomes easy to use ASP.NET applications. And this was all for today's session. I hope you guys found it informative and helpful. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.